Hi guys, I'm back to filming. It feels really odd, but also very comforting and normal. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I was on vacation, but actually I didn't really let anybody know. I just don't think it's smart to say when you're gonna be on vacation personally, if you are on social media. Um, that's just my personal opinion. And so I just kind of kept it on the down low and it was this past week, had a really great time. Florida was gorgeous. It treated me well, as always. You guys know Florida is probably my favorite place that I've ever been to and it didn't disappoint. Even though the tropical storm Barry was rolling in, um, it really made for some really huge choppy waves that I've never really seen in this part of Florida. So it was really beautiful to watch and it was so serene for me. I can't tell you how many times I went for a walk on that beach just by myself to hear it, smell it, see it. And I can't explain to you what what the ocean does for me, but it just sets me right in every sense of the way. So really blessed, really thankful that I could go on this trip. This was my sixth sixth year. It was my daughter's seventh and we've made it a family tradition and we absolutely love it. However, I have officially retired from driving this damn trip. Uh, it's too much for me. Can't do it anymore the fam is flying next year. So that's that. Anyway, I've actually been doing this vacation haul for the past couple of years with the exception of last year because I really didn't get much. I think I got some perfume, a magnet or something and it's always been on my vlog channel, I think. I'll try to I'll try to go through my videos and see what I can find and and link the older hauls down below for you guys. But without further ado, let me show you what I got in Florida 2019. Uh, okay, let's start off with Francesca's. Now, essentially, I could have gone to, like, Seaside and gone to a bunch of just boutiques, things that you can't find in Dallas, but I really love shopping in Dustin Commons, and I didn't mind that Francesca's is a store that's also here where I live. So, and I still think some stores just simply carry different things than other stores as well. So... I love Francesca's and they were actually having an amazing sales like buy one get one 50% off on everything so I got this gorgeous top and I'm actually gonna be doing a try on haul on my vlog channel a massive try on haul of all the things I've been buying lately so if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel I'll link it down below for you guys and it's always linked at the end of the video as well it'll take you straight there and you do what you want to do um, but, so there's no try-on in this video is what I'm trying to say. It has this little peplum detail. It's really pretty. I love the colors. And what I love about the colors here is I feel like it will be great for spring, summer, and fall. When I see this, I think three different seasons that this will be great for because of the colors. The little ruffle detail, and it's just beautiful. It was $44. That's the one little thing about Francesca's. It's one of the more, more expensive places that I shop at. And yeah, so there's that. Here is the second top that I got because again, it was buy one, get one fifty percent off. And I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this. It's very simple, but I have nothing like it. And honestly, the camera is not even gonna do it justice. It is like a sweater material has just gorgeous, simple detail. The sleeve, the side is just stunning. I just love this. And I picture myself wearing like a, like during the colder months, cause I'm gonna wear this now for summer, but during the colder months, oh, it has a slit on the side as well. I envision this with like a button up with maybe like a bow detail at the neck. Hello. Gorgeous, so I cannot wait for this. It was $40, so I imagine this is the one that I got 50% off at $20. And then that's it for clothing. I then got some jewelry. All right, I got two pair of earrings, and I'll show you both of them at the same time. Gorgeous, I have nothing this color. And you're probably wondering if you've been with me for so long, why do you buy these earrings? You always wear studs. I don't know, but I do in hopes 
that one one day I'm gonna wake up miraculously I can't talk miraculously and just I'll be wearing different earrings is anyone else kind of like that you buy for things that you're not usually used to wearing anyway these are just stunning I love them now lately I have been wearing my watches I've been wearing my bracelets and I can't tell you most of my life, I'm 37, most of my life I've never worn bracelets. So bracelets is a new thing for me. I'm in love. I have to wear them every day now. So look at this pair that I got. It's navy and gold. Absolutely love this. Funny story. This is a chatty video apparently. Uh, my aunt wears navy all the time. And at first she didn't, she was never doing it intentionally. I don't think she even really ever thought about it or noticed it and one day I was just like you you know you wear navy all the time and she was like you're right I do and I love that because it reminds me of um Great Expectations the movie the one with Gwyneth Paltrow she wears green she wears green since she was a little girl she wears green like go watch the movie she's always wearing green in every single scene it's it's a green outfit anyway Little backstory of this navy just reminds me of my aunt because she wears navy all the time. And then I got this gorgeous bracelet, which is like a, um, what do you call bracelets when they're kind of like stacked like this under one clasp? I don't know what they, they call this, but, um, yeah, so just to kind of show you guys that gorgeous detail. So I love it. Like this would look really good with this outfit. Also, if you don't know this, but I will post my outfits that I wear during filming on my Instagram account. So go follow me on Cheap Crafty Girl. And uh, yeah, so I will actually, after I film this, I will post this whole outfit in the mirror so you can actually see like what pants I'm wearing and all of that. All right, that is all that I got at Francesca's. Now let's move on to an actual little boutique down in Florida that I don't know is in many locations, but it's called All Dressed Up Boutique. Even the little bag is adorable. I've actually purchased a dress from there. I don't know that if you guys have ever seen it on camera, but uh, it was in a haul a couple years ago. Anyway, this is that same boutique. I got a free cup. It just has like the boutique information on it. They had the option of this hot pink or a hot green, so I went with this one. So the backstory on this top is that they had this in a dress in the window display on the mannequin and then they had a second dress but they were both size small and I'm just a medium. There was just no way I was going to get into this small and I was so, mmm, I wanted this dress that much. But it turns out they had the same material in other patterns and I got this sweater so the dress was actually this material it was not like this it did not have this peach color it was all this so just imagine a little dress had ruffles at the bottom it was above the knee and then it had a bow tie detail here in this pattern it was so gorgeous i absolutely loved it but then i found this and it was on sale it was 25 bucks and i just love how oversized this looks for me and I love the little detail. I can't wait to wear this. I think this is also great for spring, summer, and fall. So I can't wait to wear this for the fall time. And also, I don't know if you can kind of see just like the whole, there you go. And that is all that I got at this little boutique. Then I went to a place called the Copper Closet. I've never heard of this place. Have no idea if there's multiple locations of it. Um, but it seemed like a little boutique to me and I got the cutest mug. I'm actually going to be cleaning out my mugs probably on my vlog channel as well and donating the ones I'm not keeping because I think it's time for a new wave of mugs in my house. And this one is so sweet. It's just me and my daughter, mama bear, baby bear. And I love that there's a little heart right here on the baby bear. Love that little flower detail there. What? It was $18. And I also got, let's see, 
this was the place that I had gotten my daughter some things, but I think that she already took them. I got her a mustard bralette, um, a mustard yellow color bralette. I got her a white plain little crop top. I got her a red rust, rust colored, like little bandeau crop top. And I think there was something else, but I don't remember. I also got her these earrings. They have a little wave on them. She loves this stuff. Pura Vida is one of her favorite places, like with bracelets. And this is like a Pura Vida signature wave, even though this has, doesn't say Pura Vida on it. And so I got her a little earring set. And she has the ring, so she loves her little ring. And then I got myself this, which I have to lose some weight. I gained five pounds on this vacation. So when I try this on, it did not, it did not fit too flattering but it is this beautiful skirt like look at the waist detail it is just and i just imagine myself wearing a plain white tank top my little white keds that you guys if you watch all my videos that you've seen me wear and i think it would just look so pretty and charming i just love this little skirt it is a size medium but it was just a little snug you know what I'm saying to the point where it looked like the buttons were stretched like this and that just isn't a very good fit so you kind of want your buttons to look flat like this um yeah so anyway gotta lose some weight I ate too much ice cream all right next up is going to be H&M again I mean something that I could get in Dallas but I am so glad that I went while I was there because they had an amazing sale going on. I got this white button-up top, and I've actually always wanted a button-up like this. I'm always searching Shein for something like this, and I've never quite found it, and I found it at H&M. It's just a white button-up, but it has dainty floral pattern on it. Love it, and look what I paid. $10.99. Absolutely love so I got this, and I found another one. This one's probably my favorite, again with that white button up, but this one has embroidered. So it's not like a print. This actually has embroidered little flowers on it. So it's wrinkly because it's been in the bag for days now, but just so that you can see the flower detail. Love this so much. Can't wait to wear this. I think this will be great for the fall. So I'm going to wear that. And this top actually rang up. Oh, this one was also $10.99. By the way, where's the... It's also $10.99. And then this one said $8.99, but it actually ended up ringing up $4. I've seen some YouTubers haul this from H&M. And they had white and they had black. I decided to go with blush just because I have enough white and I have enough black. Especially in this eyelet, I've been buying a lot of white eyelet tops, and you'll see that in my try-on haul. I received a giant order from Shein, so I ordered a bunch of white eyelet tops. But this was four bucks, you guys. How cute is that? And this is not eyelet. This is actually called um, Swiss Dots, I believe, is what this little pattern is called. But it has the cutest, simplest little details. Once it's like ironed out, it will look really nice. Little ruffle sleeve, looks very light. It's see-through, so I'll have to wear a little tank underneath, but that's fine. And this one was not on sale, it was $17.99. And the little collar, too. I think this is so pretty, I absolutely love it. And this one I'm really excited about. At first, I was searching for my size, just I think at a default. Do you do this? You search for your size, but sometimes for me personally, I can forget I may not want my size in a specific top or bottom. I may want them to fit me differently. So I'm really glad that this did not have a medium because I love the fact that this is an extra large. I got it for $10.99. Hello, tartan plaid obsessed and I think the oversized fit on my body with this will look really fun and it will feel really cozy and comfy. It'll go all the way past my bottom and I can even wear it just almost like a jacket and then wear some sort of like 
graphic tee or something and wear I could wear this with skinny jeans I can wear this with like black um, you know those those black tights what are they called that you work out in um, I have some really nice you know black tights kind of thing oh and I just placed an order for the Nordstrom's anniversary sale and spoiler alert but I finally got myself some hunter boots and so I can just see myself wearing that with this top and so anyway, the point is, I'm really glad there wasn't a medium because I think the way this extra large is going to fit on me is going to be really fun, and I can even belt it if I wanted to as well. All right, let's move on to... Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I did get something last year, which was for my niece, and I did it again. The Pink and Blue Avenues, that is the same boutique where I got her all those little things last year. So for my Instagram girls, remember that story I was telling you about the tattoo and my niece finding it and her going rawr? Yeah, so with that in mind, <laughs> I got her a little stuffed animal. And if you could only reach out, are you reaching out and feeling how soft this is? I've never felt a stuffed animal this soft before. It's a jelly cat. It says Jelly Cat London on here I don't know what that means and I just thought it would be really cute it has a it has a memory attached to it, a story behind it for my niece so when she has this I just can imagine her being 16 and me telling her the story of what she did and then her having this bear or this lion um, yeah so hilarious and then they had the cutest bows Oh my gosh, I could have gone ham, but they were, they were pretty expensive little bows. So here is this one. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, to have a little girl again. And it's a little alligator clip and just beautiful. They had so many to choose from. And then here is this one. I love the clear plastic just idea to it. It's a little headband. This little girl. She wears her bows. She wears them no matter what she's doing. She wears her bows. And then here is this little one. I'm not, I'm not sure why this one came in this packaging. Probably because it's from a different company. But as you can see, it's also an alligator clip. Blushingpeachco.com So maybe this is something you guys can go on the website. And then this one was $6. But I love just this... What kind of material is that? It's like a frosted... You know what I'm saying? Like a frosted plastic? I, I really don't know how to describe it, but... So I got those. And then the last thing that I got her is a cute little outfit. <sighs> Can we talk about these little bloomers? With the... And it goes with this little top. It has eyelet detail, like a lace detail. Oh my goodness, just so that you can kinda, it's kind of hard to hold this up so you guys can get a visual. Oh my goodness, so stinking adorable. This is milk, wait, ML, mlkidswear.net. Took me a while to figure out. mlkidswear.net. So in case you want to see what they have online. All right, and that is it from the Pink and Blue Avenue Boutique for Children. And the very last thing is actually from Alvin's Island. So this is a place we go every single year. Every year I get a magnet. I am that person. I love being that person. And I will say, however, this year... I didn't really like their 2019 t-shirt collection. There was too many salty vibes terminology and I'm just, I don't like that. It's not for me. Um, they didn't have a good selection of sweaters either. Sweaters is something I really look forward to buying from Alvin's Island and I just, yeah. So I'll show you what I did find that I thought was pretty decent for my personal taste. I do love the color of this coral t-shirt and then it says Dustin, Florida and it has 
the little ombre stripes and then the little caravan with the um why is that not boogie boards surfboards hello some surfboards on top and then the larger image of that same thing on the back so really good and it's actually comfort colors it's funny because it says Alvin's Island Collection, but it is the Comfort Colors. I know Comfort Colors t-shirts material. This is it. This is also their tag. Um, so that's that. And then I got this one, which I can already tell. You know when you can just tell? This is gonna this is gonna fade really quickly in the wash. Um, Alvin's Island t-shirts don't last a year, really, unfortunately. So like for example, this this navy, the white in the sailboat is going to fade out real quick. It's going to chip away. It says Destin, Florida. It's got, it says coastal living on the bottom. And then it has a larger version on the back. But this one has like the yellow moon. So that's really interesting. And it's a really beautiful, it's, not, it's like a red, it's like a corally red. Does that make sense? It's more red than orange. But um, yeah, so got that. And the next thing that I got, because they, again, they just didn't have the sweaters that I wanted. So I got a long sleeve white. It's really hard to kind of show you guys. You can see there's nothing on the arm sleeve. It doesn't say anything. I really like that. And then on the pocket, it says Destin. What does that say? Emerald Coast. And it truly is. The water truly is emerald. And then the cute little palm trees. And then it has, again, the same image, just larger on the back. And just so that you can see the pattern in the palm trees, it kind of looks embroidered, doesn't it? But it's not. And as usual, I always get magnets. And this year I got two. I got this little turtle, but he just has, there we go. How cute. Wooden, painted, so you can kind of see. Love that. There was different colors. And then I got just kind of, I mean, these, these kind of magnets have been around for years. So, and I actually don't own one if it would focus. There we go. And my daughter actually got, she got a bathing suit top. She got some shirts. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that down here to share with you. But I also got her this. It's the Four Ocean. I've actually seen and heard about this about a year or so ago. And this is not a, an Alvin's Island thing. They just sell it there because you can go, you can follow them on social media. It's at Four Ocean. And what they do is um, this coral reef bracelet, as with all Four Ocean bracelets, will remove one pound of trash from the ocean and coastline. So when you buy something like this, that money goes towards a group of people who will go clean out the ocean. And so it's like a support system thing. And all of this is actually made from recycled material from the stuff that they get out of the ocean, basically. And it was $20. And I got her the one that has like the red orange band. And then also got a little car decal that says for ocean just kind of came with it and that is it for today's haul thank you guys for sticking around and watching me show you guys all the things that i got while i was on vacation this is the only vacation that i actually take i don't do anything else i don't go anywhere else um so that's it for me i'm not i'm not a world traveler by any means and i'm just fine with that but it was fun i had a great time shopping and that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i think my try on haul is going to be um i'm not sure which channel it's going to be on it's either going to be on this channel on my vlog channel but um yeah i don't know i'll let you guys know on instagram and i'll see you guys later